over time your applications will go through a life cycle. That life cycle may mean that we replace the application with a new version of the application or we replace the application with a completely different version. So what we're going to look at in this demonstration is how we configure application supersedence. We look at configuring the relationship between the application and the application that will replace it and also as well we'll have a look at viewing that relationship within our config manager console. So I'm in my config manager console at this point here. We have Microsoft Excel Viewer and we want to replace this application with a completely different application. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create that new application. So all I'm going to do is right click, I'm going to create a new application, I'm going to create this for Visio. So I've just specified the path to the MSI file, we'll select our next button. We'll now select next. Not going to bother filling out any additional information at this point, we'll select next. And then select our next button again. Then what we'll do is just select close. So now we've created this new application, which is my Microsoft Visio Viewer. All I'm going to do at this point here is I'm just going to come in. We're just going to go to the properties. And then on the properties, what we're going to do is we're just going to come to our supersedence tab. In our supersedence tab, as it says up the top here, if this application is upgrade or replacement for an existing application, we need to specify the relationship. And that's what we're going to do at this point here. So what we're going to do is we're going to select add. I'm going to specify at this point here, if we browse through, the superseded application will be Microsoft Excel Viewer. And we'll select OK. So the options we have, we can either leave Excel Viewer in place with Visio Viewer, with our Do Not Replace. We can click on the drop down, and what we can specify at this point here is replace Microsoft Excel Viewer with Visio Viewer. And what we'll also do as well is, if we're not going to use this application anymore, might as well uninstall it. Now we've done all of that, we'll just select OK. We'll select OK again. And then what we'll do is we'll now have a look at Microsoft Visio Viewer. So if I right click at this point here, one of the things we can do is we can view the relationships. And at this point here, I can view my supersedence. And we can see at this point here, what we'll then get is we'll get a pop-up. So we can see that Microsoft Visio Viewer, which contains this MSI, will replace Microsoft Excel Viewer. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.